Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to prepare a vitamin K injection in a glass ampule. However, before we get into the good stuff, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. So prior to administering your medication, you want to verify that you have a physical order that you will be administering the medication to your patient. You are going to gather all of your supplies. You will need your vitamin K injection. In this situation, this is going to be for your pediatric population. However, you can give it for your adult population as well. So this is dosed at one milligram per 0.5 mils. You also have your um, gauze. You have your three mil syringe. You have your filter needle because this is a glass ampule and it requires a filter needle. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna switch out your needle cap and administer it subcutaneously. And you also have your alcohol prep. So prior to administering the medication, if it is for the pediatric population, you wanna make sure that you consent with the mom or parent or guardian at the bedside and know that they are aware and okay with their with the patient administering or to receive the medication. In addition to that, you also wanna do your hand hygiene, put your gloves on, and then um, prepare the medication. So you will physically scan the patient, scan the actual medication, and you will verify the name, the date of birth, the MRN of the patient, and if there are any allergies noted. Based on the ampule, you have your the body, you have the neck, and um, the top of the ampule. So this is a glass one. So what before even cleaning it, you wanna flick it because there's volume on the top of here and you don't want it to be wasted. So I'm gonna flick and you'll see that it'll kind of pull to the bottom with just a few taps. So you'll have that sitting there. You're gonna gather your supplies. You're gonna open up your alcohol prep. Once you have your alcohol prep open, you are going to clean the neck of the ampule because you want to make sure that that is not contaminated and that it is clean. So once that is nice and rubbed down um, over a few seconds, then you can put that to the side and let that air dry. Then you're going to gather your supplies. So I have my three mil syringe and then I have my filter needle. I'm going to attach that together. So I have that. It's nice and connected. And then I'm going to open up my gauze my two by two gauze. So I have my two by two gauze and I have my medication that is now dry by now. I am going to put pressure around the, the neck and the body of the ampule and I'm going to point it away from me because glass particles can, um, um, can kind of, you know, spray out. So you don't want any of that to kind of, um, contaminate your surface. So you want to point it away from you and then you're going to gently crack it and you heard that and then it opens. So now it's two pieces. This is going to go in the sharps container, this piece, and then this piece is going to stay here. Now you can collect the medication. So you're going to remove the needle um, or the cap from the filter needle. You're going to hold the medication and then you are going to draw up the medication and in this situation, it should be about 0.5 mils. So it looks like I have all of the contents. I'm gonna remove my needle. I'm gonna bring the syringe upside down and then I'm gonna get the air out. So I'm going to push the plunger of the syringe up until I see it's collected in the hub and it kind of peeks out on the top. Now I'm going to recap this with one hand. And then once it's recapped, once it's recapped, I'm gonna disconnect and I'm going to put my needle that I will be administering to the patient. I also wanna make sure that there's no air bubbles in here. And so if I have to kind of tap it a few times, then I will do that. But this medication is a little bit on the um, thicker side. Um, the texture of it is a little different, but here is 0.5 mils. Based on your um, protocol, you may have to co-sign with a second RN if it is a pediatric population. Um, however, you always refer back to your hospital policy. 
So a little housekeeping about vitamin K. So in general, when vitamin K is administered, it is given to the newborn population. And the reason why it is of greatest importance is because vitamin K helps um, prevent bleeding. So it helps form blood clots to prevent bleeding from occurring, especially with a newborn that is a male that may potentially have a circumcision if the parents decide or elect to get a circumcision. Um, you want to make sure that there is no excessive bleeding. So the vitamin K injection is essential. It can be given as an IM. However, for adult populations, it also can be given as a sub-Q. Um, for adults, it could be given in the setting of liver disease so they have a more of a tendency to have um, more bleeding so you'll be giving it to your patients subcutaneously it can be given on the tummy um, for your adults for your um, pediatric population so the newborns they can administer on the lateral thigh as well which I have a video on how to administer medications for um, IM so if you're looking more for that I will be sure to include that in the description below don't forget to check out one of my other videos and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.